Hey everyone. So today I'm going to do a multi-product review of flower beauty products. You may recall the other day I did a product review video on the nail polish. Well, what happened was I was so impressed with that nail polish because any nail polish that can last five days on me without chipping, I'm impressed. <laughs> so I went back and I got a couple more colors and the one that I'm wearing is called Fanatical Botanical and it's sort of a peachy light copper color. It's a frost finish. I painted my nails with this this morning and as soon as the brush hit my nails I said to myself wow this is nothing like <laughs> that polish that I reviewed the other day which was a cream finish. So if you saw that video and you bought some polish and you happen to get one of the frost finish ones, yes, this is quite different. It's not super thick like the cream ones are and um, so that's why. <laughs> but I did want to mention though that normally frost finish nail polishes are a nightmare because you can see brush strokes when it's dry. Not with this. You cannot see brush strokes it dries to look just like it does in the bottle absolutely beautiful I don't know if this is going to last five days like the other one did but fingers crossed that it will I also picked up another one of the cream ones called thistle or that and this is a mint and yes I have tons of mint polishes already but because I enjoyed this lasting so long or the other one that I used <clears throat> I enjoyed it so much the fact that it lasted that I wanted to get one in mint because I love mint nail polish so did get a couple more of those let's move on to reviewing the other products that I got and I got to talk fast because I already did this video before and it was way too long so let's try it again okay I picked up the foundation comes in this big giant bottle and you get one ounce which is pretty standard for a foundation but it just it looks like a lot more because of the design of the bottle so it's it's a pretty bottle and when you open it up it has a stick applicator now some luxury foundations also have applicators like this but they normally have a spatula around the bottom this doesn't have a spatula it's just a stick so as you work your way down the bottle I would imagine it would be very hard to get the product out because there's nothing at the end to scoop it with so I don't really understand why they just did it did the stick very very thick foundation um, so that's why I guess they had to do the applicator thing because otherwise you wouldn't be able to just pour it out of the bottle. It's too thick for that. Um, in terms of the formula, despite the fact that it is very thick, it does not show up that way on your skin. I had to use three times more foundation to get the same coverage with this than I have with any other foundation I've ever used. It just did not have any coverage when you put it on your skin. It just seemed to disappear and evaporate. It was this, the oddest thing. I, I've never quite encountered anything like this before. Um, so I just kept adding more and more and more to get the foundation that I needed. And what happened was as I put layer upon layer upon layer on my skin, when I got to the third layer, it started to look uh, like you could see all the pores and stuff in my skin. So it didn't really build that well. So what I had to do to try to make it not look horrible was I had to set it with a powder. And once I did that, it looked okay. And I think the finish you know it looks all right in the end but here's the thing I don't want to have to use that much foundation on my face I mean 
I can't think of any other foundation that I've ever used where I've had to really cake it on like that. And it, it's too much, you know? I don't think, I think your skin should be able to breathe a bit and I don't wanna, I just don't wanna have to wear that much makeup. So I don't, I don't really like this formula at all. Color-wise, this was not a perfect match for me. They really didn't have one that matched me perfectly. And the shade that was closest to the color of my skin, they didn't happen to have that shade in that store. But I wanted to be able to review it for the formula. I wasn't really that concerned about it because it wasn't off by that much. And I figured I could always uh, make it work by mixing it with another foundation if I liked the formula or I could buy another one of these in a different color and then just mix the two together. I, I didn't really think that was a big deal. I knew I could make it work if I liked the formula, but I do not like the formula at all. Um, okay, so that's enough of that. Let's move on to one of the eyeshadow palettes. I bought the eyeshadow palette in Smoke and Mirrors. It comes in this heavy plastic with a clear cover on it. And, oh, <laughs> I had it go in the wrong way. So this I thought was the most neutral and wearable of the four. They had three other colors. One was a blue, one was a gray that was a very strong blue-gray, and then they had one that was brown, but I wasn't really wild about the shades of brown. So this one I thought was perfect because it has a creamy off-white beige color. It has a gray. It has a medium brown and a dark brown. The, the creamy beige color is sort of, a, I'd say a satin finish, but can you see how that's applying on my finger there? Then um, the gray is a matte, not very pigmented. The medium brown is a little more pigmented and is also a matte. And then the dark brown is has some shimmer in it, but not a ton. It's not overwhelming, it's just very subtle. So what I did was, oh yeah, let me, that's what it looks like when you transfer it to my hand. Um, I put the off-white as a highlight, the gray is on my lids, the medium brown is in the crease, and the dark brown I used as a liner. Something that I read about these eyeshadows was that they had botanical oils in them to make them smooth and moisturizing. Well, I don't know what happened with that, but I gotta tell you, these are the driest, most powdery eyeshadows that I have worked with in a long, long time, and I do not like them at all. Um, the finished look on my skin, just dry and powdery, just awful. So I think what I'm gonna do is, after this video is over, I'm gonna do my MAC Fix Plus trick where, you know, it makes something look less powdery by dabbing some uh, MAC Fix Plus on a brush onto the eyeshadows because, wow. <laughs> now, I, I don't like these at all. I'm so disappointed with those as well as the foundation. Okay, next up is one of the lipsticks. This is the Kiss Stick Luxury Lip Color, and that's what the packaging looks like. And you can see the color of the lipstick in the cap, which is uh, a good idea. And there's what it looks like. And it's kind of a rose color that I picked out. This is the, th this line are matte lipsticks. That's what it looks like. When you apply it, it does not feel like a matte lipstick. It feels, it feels good. It goes on nice, but here's the thing. It accentuates the lines in your lips like crazy. I mean, worse than probably any other lipstick I've ever tried in that regard. So what I did was to make it more wearable, I put uh, Maybelline 
uh, what is this called? Maybelline Glisten Up Pink on top of it. Now, when I did when I filmed this video before, I had just the lipstick on, and then I put the lip gloss lip gloss on top. But you can probably still see like how accentuated those lines are in my lips, even with the lip gloss on top. So it covers it up to a certain extent, but not completely. So not happy with the lipstick either. I feel so bad because I love Drew Barrymore. She just seems like such a lovely person. And I wanted to love all this makeup. And in the end, all I loved was the nail polish. Now, of course, I did not try the blush, the concealer, or the eyeliner, the lip liner. It's, it's a full line of products, but I don't want to because I'm afraid I'm not going to like that either. You figure I did not like the foundation, the eyeshadow, or the lipstick, so chances are I'm not going to like any of the makeup. At least that's the way I look at it. Now, keep in mind, this is just one person's opinion. Uh, you may try these things and like them. But I did not, and that's what this is all about, is just uh, giving you my opinion based upon, you know, the way I see it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found this helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye.